What does it take to become the first woman who designed her own signature Jordan sneaker? It turns out a lot, especially if you're coming from the modest means out of Albany, New York, and you have to make it in New York City. You can make it here, you can make it anywhere, was it? Well, in Vashti, I found the pure example of what it takes to survive and thrive in New York City. Welcome to the Here's Tea channel, my name is Tahir, and today we're talking about why Vashti, as a designer, DJ, music video director, became an inspiration to me, and hopefully by the end of this video, will be an inspiration for you. Let's do this! A designer, a DJ, a YouTube creator, Vashti has been in the midst of the cultural evolution here in New York City and across the world for now almost two decades. Among all the other things, and while staying busy between these various gigs, she also directed music videos. Two of the note is Justin Bieber's One Time, which was actually his debut single and the very first music video. Just check that out. And the second video of note is Kendrick Lamar's ADHD. Her personal brand Violet underscores the effectiveness of that unique brand that she developed and unique style that you can now tell from the crowd of all the different other ideas that you would come across in this world. In her latest interview with Nocturnal, Vashti made a very concise and to the point statement about what it sometimes takes for you to get closer to your dream. You know, as much as the success is like, you know, visible, I think that what hasn't been so visible is like being in those worlds, you know, organically. Um, and I think a lot of young people do that, you know, they're just sort of like making things without thinking about it. And I think that that sort of helped me to get to where I am. I thought it was very interesting because back in the day, when you think about yourself as a young adult and you think about the adults and how everything seems to be put together and know exactly where they're going, they have the plan, they know exactly who they want to be. Yet, as you go through your life, you realize the more you learn, the less you know. For the majority of us, the best thing we can do is moving in the direction of our dream, but frequently we will be taken by that flow of different events and scenarios taking place in our life, and those scenarios will either take us closer to our dream or might take us completely in a different direction to another dream that we never even thought about, yet we discovered it for ourselves through that process. Well, for Vashti, there was a very similar experience where a set of different scenarios that she encountered back in New York City streets led her eventually to that collaboration with Nike. I was interested in things that at the time weren't mainstream and weren't like cool for people of color and especially not women of color. So again, you know, like I grew up loving streetwear, loving sneakers. And at that time, there wasn't much of an option for girls. The difficult thing was dressing like how we're dressed yeah. and wanting to go out with your friends to the club. Yeah. I literally had doormen say, you're wearing sneakers, like you're not coming in here. It's fascinating to hear that about 12 years ago, this is what people thought about the streetwear. They really thought that there was just a thing, a fluke, no one should really care about it. And now it is the style. Just recently I made this video about the sneakers and how the sneaker culture took over, especially over the past 10 years or so. Now rightfully so, Vashti and other designers like her get that credit for bringing the culture into the streets and streetwear into the culture. And when it comes to her partnership with Nike, it wasn't enough to make that final last step towards the iconic partnership. You remember how I said that you never know what kind of event, what kind of scenario might take you closer to your dream? Well, in Vashti's example, turns out that pivotal decision will be ordering a cake. I had a birthday party in 2009. My management, they were like, oh, what kind of birthday cake do you want? And I was like, you know, I want- The three? The three. I remember that bit. You're like, yeah, you know, and I was so like in love with it. I was like, no one's touching it. We're not cutting it. We're you not cutting cut it. No. It spread, and then a lot of people were talking about it. Yeah. And then Aster Chambers, who's an incredible human being, he was like, what? He's like, oh my god, you know I'm a brand Jordan right now. I'm like, what? And he's like, you got to do a Jordan. Yeah. Here it is. Here is that sneaker that etched Vashti's name into the history books. It may not sound that special today in light of all the other women creators who partnered with Jordan Brand, but as you heard from some of the other segments, 2010 was a different year. For her to be the first woman to have her own signature line with Nike was an accomplishment. And being a black woman at it was even a bigger and sweeter accomplishment. And Vashti recognizes her impact. She herself supports a lot of black creators. She supports a lot of black women entrepreneurs and black women led businesses. You can read more about it in some of the links that I'll share in the description below. Check out this final segment with Aleli May, the second women designer to have her own signature Jordan sneaker on what it was like to see Vashti on her screen for the first time. Every single girl that kind of grew up the same way I did looked at at Vashti for all the fashion keynotes. The coldest pic of her, walking with literally a white hoodie, some cut off jean shorts, some Jordan 2s, and a Louis Vuitton purse. 
it was just so dope to see a girl like myself. She did it, I can do it. This is someone that I can look at that's relatable. Because I can look at her and I can see myself. Did you know anything about Vashti? What do you think about her cultural impact? And do you know of any other creators who made a similar kind of impact and I should talk to about them next? Well, share your thoughts and ideas in the section below. The interesting part that I frankly did not know much about Vashti until I start getting a little bit into the sneaker culture. Her name came across a few times and I was like, okay, I have to read a little bit about her. And as I kept reading and tracing back her impact on other parts of our NYC culture, of the sneaker culture, just streetwear, all the other different things, the music videos that she directed, I got amazed and I really got inspired by how many different things a single person can do and yet be very good at it. And well, when it comes to today's view and where Vashti is, in her career, I think she's just getting started. That NYC spirit that infuses you after you spend so much time in the city really keeps pushing you to produce more, to produce ever better, to continuously make more and more impact. And that is why I'm so excited to talk about her in this video, as well as I'm excited to see what she will be up to next. And if you are curious about other inspirational personalities, about other people who change the world, the industries in their own small ways, well, I'm here every Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, share this video with some of your friends. Here are a couple more videos for you to enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.